ladies and gentlemen, here's Johnny. Thank you. I think the first time we had young Colleen Tiff on the show, she was about five or six, and she was doing a show at that time with Tony Randall, if I remember, called uh, Sydney. Am I correct on yes. that? Mm -hmm. uh, she's a very talented, she's now co-starring in the new Leave it to Beaver. You know what's coming back on the air? Yeah, great. It premieres September uh, 8th, and I was going to say on another network, but not ABC or CBS. It's on WTBS, the Turner Broadcasting System, and it's going to be seen on Mondays and Sundays. Would you welcome Kalina Kiff? Well, how have you been? Oh, pretty good. Yeah, you look wonderful. Thank you. Very pretty. <laughs> Yeah, you're getting prettier all the time. Thank you. Yeah. Do you do your own hair? Mm, most of the time. Most of the time, huh? Do you remember the first time you were on the show? Yeah, we were watching some old tapes. Yeah, that's right. Do you remember? You you were too young. You don't, of course, remember the first Leave it to Beaver shows at all, do you? Well, I watch them every once in a while. Yeah? Did you think they were funny? Yeah, I think they're pretty cute, and I'm glad that there's something you can watch on TV that has family values. Oh, my God. <laughs> Well, we certainly try to have family values uh, on this show. I don't know what I don't know what family fits into that category, but uh, you know, I thought that's very nice, though. It was it was a fun show. Oh yeah, it was really a nice show, I think. Yeah. And I'm glad that they're recreating it in the new yes. Leave It to Beaver. So, my, have you done some of the episodes already? Um, yeah, we've done about seven of the new Leave It to Beaver. About seven, huh? Yeah, and it's really fun to work on. Yeah. Last time you were here, I remember you were you were going to buy a horse. Yeah, I was saving up a lot of money to buy him. And about two months ago, I decided I'd buy him, and I bought him. You did? Uh -huh. What kind of a horse? He's a thoroughbred. Oh, that's cool. Now, Doc, you know, did you know Doc Severinsen mm -hmm. raises horses? Really? Yeah. Me. I'd love to sell her one. <laughs> <laughs> he raises quarter horses. Do you know what quarter horses uh -huh. are? There's a lot of quarter horses where I ride. Yeah, now, I don't know much about horses, so you'll have to help me out. <laughs> what now... Quarter horses run what? Just a quarter of a mile? I mean, they're they're bred for. I don't know. I, I don't think know so. much about quarter horses. But you have a thoroughbred. Mm -hmm. Now that means that you have good lineage with the mother and the father. Um, I'm not exactly sure who the parents were because I bought them from a friend. You know. And so. Just on a street corner or something? <laughs> or? Is this a racehorse? Um, no, I ride him in jumping and dressage work. You do. When did you get into that? How old were you when you started that? I think eight and a half. Yeah. Is this a gentle horse? Um, he's pretty gentle. Now, how old a horse? How do you know he's in good? How do you know he's in good shape when you buy him? Do you know how to? Well, usually people have vet checks, but I've known him for um, ever since this friend of mine bought him, and so I I didn't have to pay for a vet check. Oh. And he's 13 years old, but he's in really really good shape for his age. 13. What is that in human years, Doc? Well, you times that by seven. Let's see, what would that be? <laughs> pretty, pretty old. Pretty old. Yeah. Is it seven years for every... I think that's about it, yeah. He's 91 years old. <laughs> well, actually, he acts like an eight-year-old. Not really. No, that's, that's good. Where are you, what grade are you in school now? I'm going to be entering the seventh grade. So. Seventh grade. That's junior high school? Yep. Yeah, when I went to school, that was junior high school. Yeah. Oh, you've grown up fast. What grade were you here before? You were just like in the second or third grade, weren't you? Um, the first time I came here, I was either in first or second grade, I think. Yeah. Are you look, are you excited about going into junior high school? Yeah, because I'm switching schools now. Are you? Yeah. Okay, we're going to come back and we'll talk about that, all right? Okay. All right, we'll take a break. Stay where you are. We'll be right back. Good thing. <laughs> you like music? If you just, we're talking with Flynn Kip. you like music? Do you collect any records or anything like that? Not really, but I do like some music. I yeah. have a few records. A few records, huh? So you're going into junior high school. What are your favorite subjects? What are you, what are you good at? Well, um, I'm good at reading in English. That's good. But I'm supposed to be good at math because it, a lot of my family is math geniuses. Oh, really? But not me. It didn't, didn't, it didn't, it didn't really work you. out. Oh, well, that's okay. <laughs> What would you like to do? Are you going to be an actor? Would you like to be an actor, professional actor all your life? I don't think I'm going to want to be one when I get older. I think I'll probably be an architectural guy or something or an interior designer. Really? But I want to have farms in West Virginia, my grandparents' farm. 
Is that a fact? So how long do you think you'd like to be an actress? Now, you're how old now? Um, <laughs> I'm almost 12. Almost 12? Yeah, and I'll probably work until I'm around 16 or something. That old, huh? Mm. Yeah, you'll just be falling apart then. Do you have a boyfriend? No, not really. Yeah. Anybody you see? I mean, well, you're a little young to date, isn't it? Well, I used to have more boyfriends, but I don't like them much anymore. Yeah. I like my horse better. Hmm? I like my horse better. like your horse better. Yeah. <laughs> Do you ever think ahead? Now, this is a little early, premature question, but do you ever think of marriage? Yeah, I'll probably want to get married between 25 and 30, or 35, or something like that. But I don't want to jump into marriage when I get older, because look, there's so many divorces today. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Out of the mouths of, you're right. Yeah, you, you should wait and meet a lot of people, and... You're, there's always plenty of time to do that. Yeah, I don't want to rush it. Yeah. But you like to be, you said architecture, does that... Well, actually, I really just want to design things like clothes or bedrooms or something. Somebody so told I'll me, probably... you, sometimes, somebody said you made shirts for the crew or the cast of your yeah, show? Yeah, where I work at Universal Studios on Beaver. Uh-huh. Well, I make t-shirts, I paint them, and I put designs on them, and I sell them to the cast and crew members. <laughs> Good move. How much, uh... How much do you charge for those? Three dollars if you bring in a shirt and eight dollars if we buy a shirt. Oh. Could you do one for me if I brought the shirt in? And... <laughs> sure. And what do you put on it? What would you, what... Anything anybody wants. In other words, you put a slogan on it? or you do... they want a slogan. Well, that's pretty you're a pretty enterprising young businesswoman, aren't you? <laughs> I guess so. So, now when does your show start again? Um, it'll probably... Well, you see, we're filming right now. Right. And it's going to premiere on September 8th on WTBS. Right. Well, I wish you much success with it. Thank you. You're a very charming young lady. Would you come back and see us? Sure. What kind of a fellow, if you do decide to get married? What well, kind of a fellow? What do you look for in a guy? I want him to be nice, sensitive. Nice, nice and sensitive. Looks don't hurt. Looks don't hurt. <laughs> and I want them to be kind of independent. In case we do get married, then I want to have the share... We want to, I want to have our shares equally shared, you know. Oh. I want... <laughs> I want him to do chores and me to do chores. Right. That's a good outlook. <laughs> is it important that he have money? No, not really. Just as long as he has a stable job and enough to support a family. Oh, good for you. <laughs> well, you're going to do just fine. Thank you. Thanks for coming to see us tonight. Nice Would you come back soon? <laughs> She's a well-poised young lady for almost for 11 years old. No air, that's not assuming no, at all. She's charming. Seems to have it all together, knows what she wants to do. People rush into yes. it. Yes.